Psalm 116 from verses 3 to 4, Insights from Jesus on the Cross. Verse 3 of Psalm 116 reads, The pains of death surrounded me, and the pangs of Sheol Sheol laid hold of me, I found trouble and sorrow. This is the distressed situation of our Lord on the cross, even though he knew the anxious agony that he would have to go through since he sang about it the night before he died. No one took his life from him, he did not have to die, rather out of love, he chose to appease the wrath of the Father that stood against all natural-born humanity. He chose willingly to become a propitiation for us, laying down his life for all who would believe as he took on the wrath of God. God's wrath is due each of us by our inherited sinful nature, and we are all born and shaped by Adam's modified nature, in iniquity from our mother's womb. The psalmist writes about this in Psalm 51 5 Indeed, I was guilty when I was born, I was sinful when my mother conceived me, and the Apostle Paul confirms that dogma in Romans 5:12. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man, and death through sin, in this way death spread to all men, because all sinned. God's solution to this human dilemma that separated mankind from our Creator was through Jesus, and he records it in his word found in John 3 colon 16 18, For God loved the world in this way, he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life 17 For God did not send his Son into the world that he might condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him 18 Anyone who believes in him is not condemned, but anyone who does not believe, is already condemned because he has not believed in the name of the one and only Son of God. HCSB Reconciliation for the willing fell upon him as he imputed his own righteousness to all penitent believers so that we could be born anew. To the flesh-trained human mind, there is little expectation of God's presence in our death or a productive life in the grave. To the spirit-slash-man, Christ, for but a brief moment of his humanity, Death wrapped its ropes around Jesus and the terrors of the grave overtook him, he was only able to see troubles and sorrow. Psalm 116 4 Then I called upon the name of the Lord, O Lord, I implore you, deliver my soul. What are these pangs of Sheol that would evoke such a plea? Depending on the person, they could be remorse, a looming sense of condemnation, a terrible sense of despair, a crushing sense of misery all with no alleviation, and no escape. This was not a cry for salvation, but for life. It is an example of prayer for us, should we feel that our soul is in danger of perishing, for then, as in the case of the psalmist, we have no other refuge but God. Prayer is never out of season. In this psalm, the psalmist appealed as Jesus would from the cross to the Lord's mercy, truth, power, and faithfulness, and this was his prayer. The psalmist sounding an alarm of distress implored his creator and protector to intercede. Real trouble produces real prayer.